this is a holiday after all. Um, taking three weeks off for this. But just because you've had one bad day, it doesn't mean the rest of the days are going to be bad. It is a challenge after all. It's not going to be easy. This is why it is called Britain's... What is it called? But absolutely everywhere. So good. What's up guys? It's Eddie Fitz. It's day four of the Cape Raft Trail. It's looking pretty wet outside, fully ready and a waterproof. It's gonna be a boggy day, but We've just got to go for it. Let's set off. So, since we've left, it's been super boggy. Um, further back, there's a, a marshland that you can cross and get to a footbridge. We decided to opt to come up the other side of the river and cross over. Um, and then we're going to go for a ascent, so it's a 600 metre ascent, weather's not looking too good, um, you can see up in the mountains it's pretty misty, rainy, um, but we need to get over it, get to the other side and then hopefully after that we'll be able to camp up later on tonight. We're either going to need to go that way Either cross it down there or camp down there Right We'll just kind of hog it all the way down And if we can cross there If no then we'll camp there I'll jump first. Go first. Well, I can take my bag off and jump across. Yeah,
Can you people up in a line? Okay. You good? <laughs> Eddie, you've been brave. <laughs> Why did you not come the other way? I told you the other way. I, that side there to the lair. You good? Crossing this one and going. Right. Four. Four. And this is one. to crawl across that on your knees. I think I just ripped my blister. Day four has been quite the adventure. It's been pouring a rain the whole day. And when I say the whole day, I mean it's been constant. Everything is absolutely soaking. Um, you know, we, we thought we were doing so well and um, getting through that first part after the boffy, pushing on getting past the river um, but from there it was just an absolute slog um, as you can hear the rain is still constant um, it just keeps going so we had to go up 600 meters of ascent and it was just so boggy um, it felt like we had suction cups in our feet um, just plowing through the bog but we then finally reached a path and at that point we thought this is great, you know, it started to descend as we started to come down the path, we're like, fantastic, picking up a bit of pace, thinking we'll be in Barrisdale, not too long, we'll be able to stop off there, dry everything up, but every river on the way down was just so bad, um, the water was just flowing, you couldn't pass any of them, so we then had to double back, walk back up the mountain, and then just hog the path on the, the opposite side and the hardest thing about that was you could see a really really good path all the way down across the other side of the river and it just made it really really hard knowing that that path is just there uh, it's literally just across the river we would be walking through it you know like jolly good path but instead we marched and trenched through so much bog slipped a million times um, it was just such a hard day and it, it's been good to finally stop but this camp spot has definitely got to be the worst camp spot I've ever pitched at um, we're currently in between two rivers so hopefully hopefully we don't know um, the rain might stop doesn't sound like it 
Um, but if it stops through the night, we're hoping that then... That ain't stopping. <laughs> we're hoping that if the rain stops, the rivers might calm down a bit and we'll be able to pass at either end. Um, either go that way and get across to the good path or continue falling through sort of boggy paths. Um, and there is a path further up that we can then join back in. So we're just going to need to see how tomorrow goes. But today has definitely been one of the hardest walks I've ever done. It's just really, really difficult and just being absolutely saturated doesn't make it any better. But we're here, we're going to have an early rest, get that energy in, see how we are tomorrow. Hopefully we can plow through and continue on the journey. What's up guys? Day five of the Cape Raft Trail. Today is going to be such a hard day. We've only got around two miles to get to Barrisdale, but just with the river crossings and where we're camped, it's going to take a bit of time. Um, it could probably take us the whole day because we need to go up probably around 400 meters um, to try and cross these rivers. We've got two rivers to cross, and um, we're going to try and catch the alternative path follow that down, there's a footbridge at the bottom. Hopefully by that point we'll then get into Barrisdale. Um, we'll then be able to dry off our stuff. We're still very early on the trail um, and the thought of putting these wet clothes on is really hard. This is a holiday after all. Um, taking three weeks off of this. But, you just got to go for it. Um, just got to keep pushing. Just because you've had one bad day, it doesn't mean the rest of the days are going to be bad. Um, so hopefully when we get to Barrisdale we can take a bit of a stop check, dry our stuff a little bit and then push on. Even if it means we need to stop at after two miles, camp and then go again. Um, it's better to have a rest and then go from there. So we've made it to Barrisdale Boffey. We got here a lot quicker than we expected. Um, we kind of got out of the tent, took a bit of a stop check, wandered round to see if we could cross the river. Um, the river had calmed down a little bit, enough for us to cross over. Um, we then got across the river and continued on the path that we should have been on in the first place. Got down into the Boffey and we've now stopped, took a map check. We're going to see how far we can then get from here. But this kind of gets us back on the path and moving forward which is good so hopefully we can continue in this path and see where we get to tonight normally you'd be able to stop by at the boffy and it'd be a five pound honesty box charge to camp overnight it's quite a big boffy but because of covid it's currently locked the toilets are open which is great and um, so you can use the toilets here and then continue on the way hopefully soon the boffy will be back open and you'll be able to stop by because um, it does look like a crack in boffy we're following this path all the way through this heather and bog mush. Continue all the way up to the top end of the lock. So we're sort of following the side of the lock all the way up. We've got this mountain to cross up here later in the day. Um, we don't know if we'll go over that or if we kind of just stop before it. So, we've just had something to eat. It's time for the ascent. This path heads all the way up to Forkin Ridge. Um, I think you just come shy of it of a couple hundred meters. So I think it goes all the way up to 800 meters up through the Beelook and then back down the other side. So we don't know if we'll get all the way up there because that's quite a trek, but we'll see how it goes. This is where we've came today. So we followed all the way along this path on this side and came back up round, up through the forest and then we're now heading up the path, sort of following along next to the pylons. You can see further up ahead, my dad is powering on. 
I think there's a stalker's hut further up that we might stop. That's about halfway up this peak, so we'll see how we feel at that point, um, and then we can decide whether we charge on, try and get further up, or if we take a bit of a stop, breather, get some food, and then fuel up for tomorrow. Walking up these hills is definitely not easy with an 18 kilogram bag, but I was a crazy one that wanted to bring my camera and all the equipment to capture this very moment of me sweating, puffing, coming up a hill. But hopefully by the end of it, it will be worth it. I'm just trying to smile through the pain. The conditions lately have just been so hard to even get the camera out. Even just the thought of bringing it out of the bag, the mic, the camera, all the other equipment. Um, the rain has just been relentless, so that's why yesterday the camera just stayed in the bag. Only the GoPro footage we've got. Um, you could see from yesterday we've fallen all over the place, but it's fairly dry just now, so I'm going to try and keep the camera out for a little bit, get some shots, see what we can capture, um, and hopefully stays dry enough that we can cross those rivers. Um, there's definitely lots of rivers to cross in the Cape Raft Trail. All those times I've tried to keep our feet dry in the first two days worked really well, but now we're just at the stage of just ploughing through the water and going for it um, and just try to get through it as quick as possible. It's awesome when you look back and you see how far you've came. This was around 10, 11 miles ago, um, so that was sort of nearer the start of our day. You follow all the way up the lock, all the way to the end, paying for a water stop get rehydrated and continue on up. Some of the best kind of water you've got right there. Yummy! <laughs> This was the path that we had planned to take down the mountain on day three, but then ended up somewhere here. We couldn't get across the river. We then followed this down all the way to the left side of the river and camped at this forest. Um, today we then thought for day five that we would then have to scut all the way back up this mountain and over to this path and follow it down and into Barisdale. Um, but lucky enough, when we woke up this morning, the river wasn't too bad, um, which allowed us to cross over and continue on this good path. Um, it was just really hard because obviously we had saw this path the whole way down and it was a cracking path, whereas we were stuck in the bog on this side. Um, but it was so good this morning knowing that we then never had to come up and all the way around and cross loads of different rivers. So that was an absolute highlight to make it across that and then continue all the way down and along here. So we started day five with quite a, a good river crossing. After we made it across the torrential river, um, we then headed towards Barrisdale Boffey. The Boffey was closed because of COVID, but the toilets and the campsite was opened, which was really, really good. We then continued along, heading towards Kinloch Hun and followed the path up starting our ascent for day six and we kind of stopped off at the stalker's hut instead of going up the path that takes you close to Fork and Ridge and um, we've kind of just stayed a bit lower than that we'll then do that ascent in the morning so it'll be a good climb tomorrow morning before then heading down a pretty rough um, and we kind of expect it to be similar to day four um, with the river crossings and stuff so we're going to see how it is tomorrow and then take it from there. So I just taken it a day at a time and we'll see how it goes. But for day five, that's us done.